Hi guys, welcome back. Part two of the engine install series. We got the uh, bullet billet block and uh, it's time to put the head on it. So uh, let's get started. So as you've seen in the first video, we had the, uh, I put the block in there. I didn't have the head stud, so I put the block first. And uh, the head's over here, beautiful head from Head Games, all refreshed. We'll go through that. But this weekend, I did all the surrounding stuff. So I did all the oil lines, I did all the coolant lines. I ran the oil feed for the tank, the damper you know and the whole nine yards i cleaned all the hoses i cleaned the fuel tank radiator so all the prep is pretty much done i did spray copper copper spray on the gasket so that's ready to go the firings you don't have to do that so the firings are dry so here's the head the head was refreshed by head games So it's all cleaned up. This is obviously a dry deck, but let me put the camera down and we'll take it apart. Well, we'll take the bag out, we'll put the buckets in and then we'll toss it in the car. All right. So in case you don't know the spec of this head, it's a, a race port by Head Games. So they poured it to gasket. It's got uh, the whole Ferreira valve train. So you got the Ferreira puck springs, the high pressure, dual valve spring, the, you know, the whole nine yards. It's got ARP inserts. I don't know if you can see it there. So it's an ARP insert. See it down there. Some of them are in there. Some of them are not. I have to put the rest in. It's a... Uh, dry deck so they welded it shut yep i got the cams over there yeah the cams i think we'll put on on another day because that's going to be after i put the head on but for now let's uh let's put the head on let's do it Sweet, it's in place. Let's put the rest of the head studs, rest of the inserts. Yeah, so I always put one stud here just to guide it. This way, uh, when you put it in, it's all set to go. Had it stuck here with this hose a little bit. This is one of the coolant hoses, but it clears. But man, it looks good. So let's put the rest of the head studs and we'll have to tighten everything. Uh, let's put the head studs on. I don't know if you've ever seen the size of these things. These head studs are massive. Longer than my phone. And that's a Note 10. That's a big phone. Yeah, so the bullet comes with two short ones and the rest are long. So I got all the inserts in there. And when you use the inserts, you don't have to use a washer. So you just put the stud and the nut right on top. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lube these fasteners. I put this thread on the 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 side where the uh, where the nut goes. So let's get down and dirty and let's get to it. All right, so all the head studs are in. I'll put all the nuts in there. I haven't tightened anything. So I put ARB ARP uh, the assembly lube under the nut. 
and on the threads so that way anywhere where it binds it uh, there's the lube there so I'm gonna grab the torque wrench and uh, let's torque this bad boy so time to tighten uh, I learned this trick from Jack Util. Um always whenever you're tightening a cylinder head you need patience so you want to take it easy you want to do slow motion and obviously take increments and um, get a good digital torque wrench because these guys tell you exactly where it's going so I'm gonna start with 35 so these things go uh, the head studs will end up going to 110 foot-pounds but we're gonna do them in increments so we're gonna do 35 75 and uh, probably 110 so we can do it in three and then the 110 we can do it twice but when you're tightening you always start from the middle and you work your way out so one two three four five six and you know the deal so again thanks to jacuto you want to do slow motions like this especially on the harder ones and that's done so we'll keep repeating this i'll put the I'll put the camera on a time lapse so you can see what I'm doing. Let's do it. Whew. Man, ideally you want somebody with you to help. My buddies were gonna come tomorrow to help me out, but I'm so impatient that I just I just don't like to keep the engine open. I like to have it sealed, so I was impatient and I'm doing it by myself. This is a part that it would be nice if we have some help. I'm out of breath, but it's all done. So as you've seen in the video, we did 35, 55, 85, 110, and then I went second time at 110 just to make sure they're all done. So they're all tight. Uh, next up, we can put the exhaust manifold on, or we can put the cams on actually. So let's toss the buckets on it. Let's just put the buckets on. I got brand new buckets from Toyota. These buckets are all the same size. So what Head Games does when they build their heads is um, they use the, the same size bucket and then they lash using uh, trimming the valve stem so that way when you replace the, the buckets they're always the same size and they're the lighter size bucket so the number 10 I, sorry number 10 so that way you have a light bucket so let's toss all the buckets in there we'll put some assembly lube and then i'll show you these beautiful gsc cams all right so buckets all laid out these are the most of them are new some of them are from uh, from last year these are all the ones that Dave thought uh, they should be replaced. Uh, they're not destroyed, but if you look closely, you can see there'll be some, some minor wear. So, I mean, there's a big debate online about this stuff, about GSC cams, eating buckets. I don't really experience it that bad. I mean, they do wear out a little bit, but I mean, I'll replace a little bucket every year. That's fine. And not even all of them. So... I got 24 new buckets and, uh, sorry, I got, yeah, 24 new, 24, one, two, anyway. I got some new buckets, some are the old ones. I got some assembly lube. I like to put this on every moving part before we assemble it. So I'm gonna lube them up, put them in, and uh, I'll show you the cams. Okay, so buckets are in, lubed up pretty good. You wanna use that pre-assembly lube because these things are gonna be dry when they turn over. So uh, put a, a good amount. All right, can't wait. Time to see these beautiful cams. I mean, these things are gorgeous. So the cams are GSC R2M cams. These are for methanol. And uh, they got this new coating on them. That's gorgeous. Called, uh, I believe, ISE treatment. Wow, let me look at that thing. 
right? It's just crazy. I hope the camera can get the picture of how beautiful these things are. So let's take them out. We'll put some assembly lube on them too. And uh, what we do, thanks to Chris Delgado's trick, you want uh, the engine to be about, um, I think 30 degrees over. Actually, you count the tooth here. Uh, oops. So he said, so you grab, this is TDC. So you want one, two, three, four, five, six teeth over. You want to turn it clockwise so that way piston number one is a little slightly down. Piston number six is slightly down. So when we put the cams on, we can't uh, we can't bend any valves. And ask me how I know. I've done that last year. I put it at TDC. I put the cams on and I bend two valves. So always have it six tooth to the right. So your TDC is six teeth to the right. And then toss the cams in. So let's do that. All right, guys, we got the cams in. I'm not going to show you the, the whole process of torquing the cams, but you can follow the, the manual. I basically focus on the lobes that are pushing the valve down. So in this case, you would be piston number two, and then you got piston number uh, six in the back on the exhaust side. But they look good. They look amazing. So GSC R2M cams by GSC Power. Love it. All torqued up. So we'll stop the video here. And uh, next video would be putting the manifold on, putting the turbo on, putting the intake on, and all the fun stuff. So for now, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Thank you very much. Take care.